Thanks for clicking on this video. There is a good chance that you are interested in some sort of car camping setup, whether it's a Subaru Forester or converting your own vehicle. So we are super excited to show you our setup for this year. We're gonna be showing you our 2023 summer warm weather car camping setup. We'll be starting with the inside of the car and then working our way to the outside of the car. And before you click away, please hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom. Follow us on Instagram. And how rude, I'm Anna. And I'm Adam. And we're gonna be showing you the inside. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, hi, Betsy. So our mattress is the fitted Luna Life 1.0 mattress. It's the original one. It is insulated and it is dog proof, meaning that it's a little sturdier for your dog for your dogs to walk around. So underneath the mattress, we will add extra blankets and towels to just add a little bit more leveling to this mattress because it just the car slants slightly down it's just more comfortable we have a summer comforter from ikea that we carry with us because it's lightweight and it's not super hot and we always travel with this wool blanket for those nights that's a little extra chilly we like to put it between the mattress and the fitted sheet for an extra layer of warmth or just an extra blanket because I always steal them from Adam. A couple of things to show you on this side for the inside setup. New for this year are these window covers that we bought from Amazon because we knew it was gonna be warm and there was gonna be no airflow inside of the car. So this allows wind to come in without the bugs from the season. We have a couple pillows here. They're nothing special, just purple pillows that we use at home. Underneath to support our heads, we actually use the Luna Life cubes that support the top part of your mattress. Because we always get asked, I am 5'3 and Adam is 5'7. We both fit very comfortably in the back of this 2018 Subaru Forester. Another comfort investment that we made this year is a battery powered fan. What makes this cool is you can hang it, you can clamp it, it's battery powered and it has an LED light. It runs low, medium, high. On high, it can run up to five hours. On low, it can run up to 17 hours. It has a timer on it for one, two, and five hours. We had it for five hours last night. The LED light is perfect for illuminating your campsite or whatever you need to shine light on. And I'm gonna go ahead and hang it from this little sunglass holder in the Forester, which worked out really great. Speaking of lighting, this year we invested in some headlamps and these are great not only for car camping, but when we do astrophotography at nighttime. They have several different functions from the white LED light, which is really bright, goes from uh, lower to higher brightness. And then it also has red light and an SOS flashing light. The cool thing is that they are motion sensors. So if you hit this button here and you go like this, it turns it on, if you go like this, it turns it off. So that was very helpful. Right here we have a lightweight picnic blanket that we use for hiking and car camping. We'll set it down and we can either lay our stuff down on it or pick a spot to have lunch. And then Betsy's sleeping arrangements, um, we will bring her blanket with us and we usually put it right here in the center when we go to sleep and she'll curl herself to bed and we sleep on either side of her. However, if you have a dog that doesn't have separation anxiety like ours, you can set their bed in the front seats and your dog can comfortably sleep there without the fear of getting kicked. So that's the inside. And I'm gonna be showing the outside of the car, starting with this Yakima Slim Shady. We have this six and a half foot length, but this also comes in four and a half feet and eight feet. We're gonna go and set it up so you can see what it looks like. This provides six and a half feet of glorious shade. It also comes with tie downs and stakes for those windy days. Off the back of our awning, we have this oversized carabiner, which allows us to hang a water bladder. We can use it for washing dishes or filling up a water bottle. Since we sleep inside of our car, we need a place to store our stuff. And that's where this coolie roof box comes into play. It's a little bit full right now, but this is the medium sized force edition roof box. And we chose to go with the medium size because it was the widest of the roof box for the force line. The large and the extra long are longer, which is more designed for skis. We're snowboarders and we can fit our weekend camping gear up here. And we can fit at least three, if not four snowboards up here. Our roof box is sitting on top of a set of Bouge RV roof rails. And a couple years ago, we did an in-depth review comparing the Subaru to the Bouge RV roof rails. And what we found was the Subaru was easier to install, but the Bouge RV ones were quieter. And since we leave the roof rails on all the time, we thought it just made more sense to have the Bouge RV. But you can check that in-depth review right up here. 
And so for all the items that we we're talking about today, if you go into the description of this video or of any of our videos, we've put together three kits. We've got a vlogging kit, we've got a hiking kit, and we've got a car camping kit. That'll show you an entire setup for pretty much anything we can find from Amazon. Let's go check out our bathroom. Oh God! Oh God. Lo siento, I'm oh, sorry. No, no, no. Wait, wait, before you go. Check out this vlog from these oh. YouTubers, Anna D and Adam. They did a video on Creststone. Dude, we should go check out these places. Yeah, when, when you're done, let me know. Okay, bye. This is our pop-up pooper. This is actually a shower and changing tent that we use for our toilet. So inside, we have this collapsible toilet that we use with these biodegradable bags. So pack in, pack out, we just take it with us. For peeing, we just bring a set of pee bottles with us. We go to a rest restroom, we just dump them out. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is how do you have power while off the grid? Starting out, we have two of these external USB-C battery banks. These are 13,000 milliamps, which provides a ton of power. I can charge my camera battery 10 times off this, and it can charge her camera batteries five times, or her drone batteries five times off of these. But we also have this. This is a 300 watt power inverter, and it plugs into our cigarette lighter. It has two AC outlets and two USB outlets. So for example, this is Anna's camera batteries. We'll plug it on this side. So that gives us access to this one outlet. And we have this five port USB charger that we can plug into the other side of here. So it allows us to power up our drone batteries, our camera batteries, our phones. It allows us to power up a lot of stuff when we drive to different places. Like yesterday we drove to the Ziggurat. We had plenty of power as we drove over there. Let's head over to the kitchen where Anna will show you what that looks like. And to conclude the video, let's talk about our kitchen slash seating area. Equipped with two folding chairs, a four foot collapsible table that we bought at Walmart, our camping stove equipped with two burners. This one does require a lighter, so don't forget that. I also like to bring my mocha and I like to bring our Dutch oven. This is really great as an oven for our breakfast burritos and it's really versatile for just about anything. Because we're on the road, having cups that don't break is important. So we like to bring our Yeti cup and mug. And then our bear keg, which serves either as a trash can or food container for storage. That is our summer 2023 car camping setup. We hope that you've enjoyed the tour of our Subaru Forester, AKA Fez. Mm -hmm. We also have a winter edition, but that'll come out later in the year or maybe next year. So if you like this video, please, please, please hit that thumbs up. Please click the subscribe button. And don't forget in the description of this video and all of our videos, we have a link to our gear that we showed you all today. And we can't wait to take you on the next adventure. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.